This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Peninsula Regional Medical Center. You know, it seems like this time of year you just cannot get away from the sniffles and headaches and sinus pressure that just come with the allergy season. Yeah, and our next guest wants to help us better understand allergy season in hopes that we can prevent some pain. Dr. Kurt Watkins is a board certified allergy immunology specialist on the staff at Peninsula Regional Medical Center and Peninsula Allergy and Asthma Associates. That's I'm a mouthful so right glad there. I'm so that you had all that, not me. <laughs> Welcome this us. afternoon. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it very now, much. I understand it all has to do with the pollen count, and we've had particularly high pollen counts lately. We've had a doozy of a pollen season this spring. The, the mild uh, winter plus the warm spring temperatures have brought the tree pollens out in force. It's the highest pollen counts we've seen in a few years. Wow. And it's because of the warm weather? Uh, the warm weather, the trees um, uh, will shut their pollen production down until it warms up and uh, then dispense into the air for uh, everyone to breathe in. Yeah. So with an earlier warm weather year this year. The, the pollen counts are very weather dependent and it can shut down quickly. The, the cold weekend uh, nor'easter we had uh, mm -hmm. brought the pollen counts down. Yeah. And a lot back of up again. So. I know a lot of people were thankful for that. So uh, those dealing with the symptoms, what do you suggest? Well, uh, common sense says, uh, you know, retreat indoors and close the windows. Uh, don't cut the grass and uh, get the neighbor kid down the street to do <laughs> that. <laughs> right. So, um, but there are a bunch of medications, um, over-the-counter medications. Uh, Jim, you said your wife was taking loratadine, which is a generic of uh, Claritin, and that's an over-the-counter non-sedating antihistamine that works pretty well. There's eye drops available over-the-counter, and if it gets too bad, uh, there are prescriptions that work pretty well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, pollen's a big player, but that's not the only player. We've got home allergens that, that we deal with too. Sure, um, there are year-round allergens, and uh, um, some people are lucky and only suffer certain times of the year, but uh, others uh, are afflicted with cat allergy or dog, and the big one, head and shoulders more than any other allergen, is dust mite. Dust mites, oh. and we all have them, don't oh. we? We all have them, you have them, I have them, the Queen of England has them. <laughs> <laughs> she has a lot, her bed is very old. <laughs> yeah, so what, what, what could we do to possibly uh, get rid of the dust mites, or at least not have so many? Well, the, the most bang for your buck on dust mite intervention is uh, dust mite proof encasements over the mattress and the pillows. And they used to be plastic, uncomfortable, mm -hmm. and sweaty, but they've got high tech fabrics now that keep the dust mites in the mattress but still breathe. So they're, they're much more comfortable now these days. Uh, you can find them through a dozen websites, um, they're available at Walmart. Um, and uh, uh, you put them on your mattress, you put them on your pillow, it stops the dust mite from getting into your nose, into your eyes into your lungs too, the, uh, the pollens and dust mites aggravate asthma as well yeah. as nasal allergies. Wow. So uh, I've got a lot of companies that are trying to sell this, this stuff to clean our air indoors. Does that really work? Can we really <laughs> do that? Uh, well, you need to be skeptical. Um, the ionic breeze machines, th those have not uh, been shown to be of any benefit. Um, but uh, a plain paper filter that uh, uses a fan to pull the air through a filter, those are effective and you want to get one that's HEPA rated, H-E-P-A, it's an efficiency rating. Now I understand there are things that we put in our house on purpose that like are- Like a cat? Like, well, yeah, <laughs> like the animals, but I mean like air fresheners and candles. Yeah, the scent candles, the, especially the burning candles, uh, put uh, irritants into the air. Uh, cigarette smoking is really terrible for indoor air quality. Um, so if you're suffering from allergies or respiratory conditions, you know, think about the things that are going into your air and uh, remove the easy um, items. Um, if you have a smoker in the household, um, invite me over, I'll beat him upside the head for you, but uh, short of that, maybe just kick him outside. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Thank Direct you approach. So, <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Kurt Watkins. Thank you for coming in. If Appreciate you would it. like some more information on how you can lessen your symptoms this allergy season or to get in touch with Dr. Kurt Watkins, go to DelmarvaLife.com and click on the show tab. Well, now that the temperatures are reaching into the 70s and 80s, many of us are switching on our car air conditioner, but what happens if it's not cooling the way it did last summer. Well, still ahead on Delmarva Live, what you should do to make sure that your car cooling system is ready for a long, hot summer, plus other warmer weather TLC your car needs. Delmarva Live, life at its best here on Delmarva.